Hey folks, it's another day, another unboxing. It definitely is another unboxing, but it's not just another day. I was in New York for the Google Pixel launch. As you know, if you saw my hands-on video up here, they gave me a review unit, of course, and not only did they give me a review unit, they gave me a Pixel 4 XL in this incredible coral color. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is the Pixel 4 XL unboxing. I wanted to share that with you in New York, but I just got too busy and I figured it just might be easier to do it at home in the studio. So yes, I held back to unboxing and using this phone for two days for you guys. All right, so here we go. That's the box. You got the Google logo on this side. You got another Google logo here. You got the profile of the phone, which is really cool because you got this this black finish on the edges and in the back it's got a really nice uh, beautiful photo of lifestyle photography as they say hashtag team pixel uh, the bottom has the IMA so I'm not going to show you that this is a 64 gigabyte model so this is the base version which costs $899 and you know I just want to be clear this is a lot of money for a phone with 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage Let's just put that out there right now, okay? But if you, like me, are a Pixel user as your daily driver, this is a big deal. There's a lot of really interesting things about this phone and also a lot of, you know, problematic things like six gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage for $899. So let's get started. I'm gonna just lift this up. Da, 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 da. Here we go. As you can see, there's a little cutout here, but that's, that's it. And then we have the phone right here. Oh, let's get to that in a second, shall we? And then we have a little divider action, just cardboard. You gotta admit the packaging is lovely. Then we have another little compartment here with a SIM removal tool and instructions on how to remove the SIM. Remember, no micro SD on Pixel phones. User's guide and this is like safety warranty stuff, which I'm not gonna care about, but here, uh, let's have a quick look at this together, shall we? Oh, this is in French, we want the English. There you go, meet your new Pixel. So SIM card tray, power button, volume rocker, uh, active edge, so it has, still has the active edge, and USB-C port. There's very little on this phone, no micro SD, as I mentioned, no headphone jack, this big forehead, we'll get to that in a second as to why that is. There's no fingerprint sensor either, which is gonna be interesting. And then in terms of uh, cabling, this is it. You get a USB-C to C cable. Then you get this USB-C to A adapter, uh, which I'm not gonna take out. Here you go, you can see it. A on one side, C on the other side. The deal with this is that basically, if you want to transfer from another phone and you only have a USB-A cable for that other phone, you can, you can use this dongle. It's interesting that they include this dongle, but notice there's no headphone adapter, no USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphones since this doesn't have headphone jack. Last year they included an adapter with the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 3. Of course, there's a power brick here. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Uh, your standard power brick. Interesting that they don't have a plastic wrapper on the sides, but they have a plastic wrapper on top. Let's have a quick look at the specs on this power brick. I can't really read this, but I'll leave it in focus for you folks to read when you watch the video. Um, so that's it for the box. Uh, okay, also, not only isn't there an adapter this year, but there's also no earbuds. Last year we got wired Pixel earphones uh, in the box of the Pixel 3 and 3XL. So that's the phone. Let's see if I can just slide it out of here or if I have to do some crazy maneuvering. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do this the official way. Are you ready? So here we go. Oh, shiny new phone. Yes. All right, so let's take a look at this. You saw this in my hands-on video already, but I don't think you got a really good look. This is definitely aluminum, but it's somehow uh, an anodized in, in a very interesting way. Also, there's no antenna band, so it's weird. You think it's like some sort of very hard, high quality polycarbonate, but it's actually metal. And then in the back, it's glass, but again, this glass feels really weird. It feels like it's coated with something. Like when you run your nails on it, it feels like it's got a soft touch finish, but at the same time, it's super cold like glass. So. I think what it is is it's some kind of micro etching on the glass to make it kind of matte like this because the, the Google logo is shiny inside this matte, as you can see. So 
Very interesting build and material choices here. And I love the little accent of the power button that's uh, pink, of course. On top, you have a secondary microphone, as you can see. On the right hand side, you got the power lock key with the volume rocker, right? On the bottom, you've got what looks like two speaker ports. So it's probably just one mono speaker with a primary microphone. This has stereo speakers, but the other speaker is in the front. USB-C, of course, and on the left side, you really don't have anything except for the SIM tray, right? So that's the lay of the land. Now in the front, you got this big display, so let's turn it on. And so this big display um, has a big forehead, as you can see here, with this speaker in it, the earpiece, and that eight megapixel F over two front facing camera. You can see it there now. And at the bottom, there's almost nothing, you know, very small chin, uh, but big forehead. So that's a little lopsided, you know, you're gonna hold the phone like this, it's gonna feel a little weird. Also, if you came from the giant Pixel 3 XL bathtub last year, the, the big notch, it's gonna be also a little weird, even though I didn't like that notch. But there it is, this is what you're gonna have this year. So stereo speakers, but you know, one channel here front facing, another channel side facing. That's the first time in a while that a Pixel doesn't have two front facing speakers. And hopefully it, it sounds pretty good still because the Pixels have always sounded pretty good since the 2XL. Yeah, so the reason there is this big forehead, as I mentioned in the hands-on, is there is a Soli radar chip in here and a 3D Face ID sensor. So basically it's very much like the iPhone since the iPhone 10 which is a very accurate three-dimensional scanner for your face and your eyes so that it can unlock the phone without a fingerprint using your face in a secure way. That's the claim. Now the Soli radar assists with that uh, because it's a radar chip running at 60 gigahertz. 60 gigahertz is also the reason why this phone isn't sold in India. Apparently that interferes with some existing frequencies there. 60 gigahertz allows things like gestures apparently you can go like this over the phone kind of like the lg g8 but supposedly this is going to work better more importantly when you get close to the phone it'll detect your hand turn on the screen and turn on the face scanner so that automatically it starts scanning your face uh, so this is apparently a more advanced face scanner than what apple uses the proof will be in the pudding i'll try it out and let you know how it works there are some issues around this that people already have discovered a lot of apps need to be adapted to use this face scanner for authentication so normally any app that uses a finger scanner right now in android doesn't automatically necessarily work with this face id scanner so uh, banking apps and stuff are going to be an issue for a while until they get updated. And for me, that's going to be a big deal because I do use a lot of these. So I want you to be aware of that. If you consider buying this phone early, some of your apps that you require a fingerprint for right now, you're going to have to type in a login every time. It's going to be a real pain until they support the sensor. So I've talked about the front a lot. Let's talk about the back a lot because there's a lot to talk about here in the back. There are two cameras. Yes, it's kind of disappointing. And that's another thing I said earlier about the RAM and the storage for the price. But for the price, I was expecting an ultra wide angle lens. What we have here in the back are two lenses. We have a 12 megapixel f over 1.7 main camera with 1.4 micron pixels and OIS. And we have a 16 megapixel telephoto two times optical zoom with an f over 2.4 lens and one micron pixels also with ois so spec wise these cameras don't really stand out too much but they do have ois and you know they are competitive in that sense uh, there's also a flash and it looks like uh, maybe a laser autofocus module here i'm sure it does face detect autofocus and of course edge detection which is contrast autofocus but here the thing to know about this is that Google has improved the software on this significantly again. Better night sight, better portrait, better a whole bunch of things. So again, we'll have to prove and, and figure out if this is an improvement over last year and if this can beat the iPhone, which has really uh, stepped things up this year, the iPhone 11. So that's gonna be the, the big question here. And for me, the big bummer is no ultra wide. I use the ultra wide a lot on my phones. And for again, 899, I was expecting more. I wanted three lenses on this phone to be flagship competitive, even if the software is amazing. And I believe the software will be pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. Other specs include an Snapdragon 855. So this is a pretty high-end chip 
We've got, of course, the six gigs of RAM. Uh, you have option between 64 gigs and 120 gigs of storage. Of course, that costs more if you want more storage. Other things to know, there is uh, there's still the squeeze feature, so that's still there. I don't use it, I don't like it very much, but some people do. No fingerprint sensor anywhere under the display or otherwise. You know, it's an OLED screen, but you're not gonna get a fingerprint reader under here because of this really advanced Soli radar chip and 3D face scanner in the front. So that's it, folks. That's the Pixel 4XL unboxing in this lovely shade of coral orange pink. Stay tuned for more on the channel about this phone. This is gonna be my daily driver. That's pretty much it, folks. I mean, it is the Google flagship for 2019 and 2020. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, click that little notification bell to get notified when I make more videos, comment in the comments below, engage with me. And then remember that all these videos I make are complement to the podcast that I do weekly the Mobile Tech Podcast at mobiletechpodcast.com, naturally. There's an RSS feed there if you want to subscribe old school, but I'm also on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Overcast, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, Stitcher, pretty much every platform. Look for Mobile Tech Podcast and subscribe. That's it, folks. Uh, stay tuned for more content soon. And until then, cheers, everybody.